Welcome to the first ever On The Flyer TV January Winter Challenge Festival here at the beautiful Riddings Fishery. Over the last few years, we are proud to have built up a close working relationship with the owners of this stunning venue. And together, we have established some of the best silverfish festivals currently in the UK. Our current match calendar boasts four festivals at this fishery. One in the height of summer, when the resident carp are the intended quarry. Then, when the colder months arrive, we turn our attention to the abundance of silverfish that dwell below the surface. With this edition of the new January festival, we now have three separate silver-only competitions for anglers to compete for. With a first-place prize pot of over £1,200, it is easy to see why our festivals attract some of the UK's best anglers. This festival sees the likes of multiple big festival and title winners, best known for their commercial prowess such as Des Ship, Adam Wakelin and Tom Scully, compete against some of the very best natural anglers in the world. Just in this festival alone, we have four of the current England team with former world champion Sean Ashby taking on his teammates Cameron Hughes, Steve Hemingray and Simon Wilsmore. With a field of competitors as we have set before us, it really is going to be a tightly fought contest. So without further ado, I present to you the inaugural Riddings January Winter Challenge Festival, who will be crowned the 2024 champion and more importantly, the new King of Winter. Hi, my name's Danny Ardin. Uh, we're back at Riddings for the On The Flyer TV two day festival. Uh, I've drilled peg three on follies. Um, I don't know this area very well. Um, so I've got a couple of attacks what I'm going to do. Uh, so we'll see what we can do today, but I know it's always going to be tough because I've got dead ship at the side of me. Uh, I was lucky enough to win it back in November, so we'll see what we can do this time. I've drawn peg, uh, what peg am I on? Peg five on folly today on, on the Flyer TV two day little mini festival. Uh, not the greatest area I don't think to be honest I know I moan a bit but I think I'm uh, telling the truth then the biggest problem I think we got we have got a bit of depth down this end of the lake but it, the water is very very clear I can see every single stone for probably a meter right from the bank in sort of that depth of water so that just gives you an idea what we're fishing in today sometimes that can be really really good for skimmers being it clear the carp and the crassio and these like fantails might shoal up and leave us alone um so yeah i think i'm in trouble really steve Evan gray i think just drawn a real good peg there's a bit of a point up to my right and it sort of bends around a little bit and steve Evan gray's on there so I, it's going to take some beating i think i'm fishing for a second in the section and to be honest i would take a second in the section for this area so yeah it's not a venue that i've fished much i've fished it a couple of times north versus south uh, obviously we fished that a few times uh, the other week we, we were over that side of the lake um yeah i think it's going to be a tricky one i think who knows i think pellets obviously cover me options pellets uh ground baiting worms maybe a few maggots um don't think there's going to be much short fishing i think it's really really clear and the shelf it really shelves off on this venue on this side anyway i can only vouch for this side yeah got a nice easy bait tray bit of ground bait a few maggots a few pinkies a few casters a few worms and i've got my normal mix of well, when I looked at the colour this morning, I've got some uh, dark F1, Pro Fatter's green, and I've also put the ground bait of the moment for me, which is super crushed green. I've got to put a bit of that in. So, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a beautiful venue, great competition, uh, well run by Gary. I've got to say that because he's watching me on the camera. <laughs> he's moaning about how much his camera gear costs, and it looks amazing, to be honest. So, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can come top two. If you come a top two today, <coughs> you'll be in with a shout. There's some good anglers on some real good pegs today, so they're going to be hard to beat. So anyway, fingers crossed. We start the day off down on the Riddings Match Pool. There are 28 anglers in the festival with a rotation over the two days between this pool and the Folly Pool. The Match Pool has an average depth of around six foot 
and in places, this depth slopes off to 8 feet. With the sky being overcast and the temperature mild for this time of year, it's the perfect conditions for skimmers to feed. Matches at this venue over the last few months have seen natural baits such as maggots and worms dominate over other popular commercial baits. However, it was interesting to see a lot of the anglers chose to opt for a pellet approach, with the milder weather no doubt playing into their game plan. With skimmers being the intended quarry, it was very important to make sure that float tips were dotted down to nothing more than a pimple. Often the most shyest of fish when it comes to bite indication, it is extremely important to get this one thing right. Otherwise, countless bites would simply go undetected. The pole was the most popular tactic for the majority of our anglers, with many opting to start long, around the 13-meter mark. Some opted for two lines out on the long pole, normally with one being fed positive with ground bait, whilst the other a more negative approach with crushed expanders, with the intention to fish a small pellet over the top. As is normal, a short line, normally around 6 meters, was also fed by most, with anglers hoping for an arrival on this line in the latter stages of the match. As the day progressed, we turn our attention to the folly pool. With tall conifers surrounding the lake and large willow trees at the water's edge, it's easy to see why many anglers call this venue stunning. The folly pool is deeper than the Riddings Lake in places, with the areas around pegs three and five tending to be the deepest at around nine foot. There is also a large lily bed that runs down the center of this lake and whilst not visible in winter, the roots still hold an abundance of fish. Both lakes are very well stocked with both silverfish and carp, and whilst the carp tend to feed more vigorously in summer, they do very often still make an appearance. Whilst not counting in a silvers competition, it's virtually impossible for some of the more beautiful species to not put a smile on your face. After all, it has been said that they should in fact be an instant win. It was obvious as the day progressed that the match, as to be expected, was going to be a very closely fought affair. Adam Wakelin and Des Ship appeared to be just in front in their sections, with Tom Scully and Simon Wilsmore battling it out against each other in theirs. It was very interesting to see the difference in approaches between the two, with Tom opting to fish positive rigs with pellets and worms, with skimmers being the target. 
while Simon loose-fed maggots and fished through the water with strung-out rigs, fishing for the smaller roach. It was a risky tactic to take, given that one skimmer would account for six to seven of the roach, but with more roach willing to feed and with more gusto, Simon caught steadily from the off. The final section saw Cam Hughes on peg 29 on the Match Lake, a peg that can be very hit and miss. For those of you that know Cameron, I think you will agree that he is not the most honest of people when it comes to disclosing his estimated weight. In fact, it's a well-known fact that he is probably the worst for it within our sport. With that in mind, when he informed us that he had only caught around nine pound with just 30 minutes to go, it was immediately joked that he would have double what he had suggested was his actual weight. As day one draws to a close, all that is left to do is to see which four anglers would take those all-important one points into day two. Please enjoy the rest of the action and we will be back shortly with more. Well, today, just had a wonderful day's fishing. Peg 18 on the Folly Pool. I thought it might be good, because I fished a qualifier here a couple of weeks ago for the uh, On The Flyer TV Hulk and Hunt Winter Classic. And the lad on peg 19 next to that won the match with 15 pound. And Matt Georgie was next to him, had 13 pound, two best weights on the match. So I thought, yeah, I might be in with a chance in that corner. Um, simple match, really. Two lines on the long pole, started on pellets. Um, I've wore just one small skimmer on pellets, so I've changed that to worms. And I've just alternated a, a worm bomb line with a ground bait line. And I've caught probably 30 skimmers and probably 20 odd fish that didn't count, that left ones and crucians and things that I had to put back. But it was a, a lovely day. And the stamper fish was big. Up that end of the lake, I think the stamper fish is a bit bigger than the rest of the pool. So nice to get off to start with a, with a lake win. Today, I've drawn peg 25 on the Riddings pool, which is on a bit of a point. Um, fancy it, looks great. However, I've got my work cut out. I'm in a great big Team England sandwich. I've got Simon Willsmore to my left, Des Ship to my right, and next to him, we've got Sean Ashby. So it's going to be a really tough ask to uh, win this section again today. But I've got a plan. I'm going to fish two lines on the long pole with ground bait again, feel my way in, and see what happens. And, uh, with a bit of luck, we'll uh, catch a few fish. Here we are, fantastic. On the flyer, TV, two day at the Riddens Pool. Absolutely fantastic venue, great event. There's 28 of us fishing for first place, which is 1,200 quid over two days. Nice little pickup. Yesterday I was on the Riddens Pool, peg nine. Uh, a great peg, great area. A bit awkward though, really. The fish were uh, them little skimmers tricky to catch obviously it's still cold we're in January um, so I've caught a lot of them on pinkies and worms I think I've had about 50 58 fish something like that went just over 18 pound which thankfully just snuck me the section um, by a pound pound and a bit I think so today obviously it's a rotation so I was on ridding pool yesterday and today I'm on the folly uh, folly 24 never even I'd never even seen it till yesterday the times I've been I've always been on the ridding's pool um, you know the fishing here at the Riddens. No one ever runs away with it. It's very, uh, very tight. So peg 24. I think uh, Sean Ashby was on here yesterday. Managed third. Said he could have come second because the M peg it was obviously very good yesterday. Tom Scully won off it. So same sort of approach. But I'm happy. I'm in the middle of the lake. Like I said, it's not 
you know, it's not, pegs don't normally dominate here, it's very tight. Um, so open for the same again as, uh, as I did yesterday. Morning everyone. So today is day two of On The Flyers um, two day sawfish event at Riddings Festival. Yesterday, surprisingly, drew a really good peg again. Uh, 29 on, I think it's called the Riddings or they call it the Match Lake. Um, had a lovely day really, never had a bite for an hour and a half, so I was getting a little bit concerned, especially with the pegs to my left catching a few, but no one was really running away with it. Um, and luckily when I did catch a fish, they were decent stamp, you know, eight ounce to pound and a half skimmers. Um, had a really good run after that hour and a half, probably had six pound in 40 minutes sort of thing, um, with probably 10 fish, that, that, that's all. Um, and then it was just an odd fish to the end of the match, I think finished with 21 or 22 skimmers. Um, for 19-2, which won the section. Um, they also won the day as well, just beating Waco. He's not happy about that, but um, he won his section from the opposite bank as well. Um, day two, like I mentioned, I am on, is this? this one's called Folly, um, peg five today, which is where Des was yesterday and he won the section. Um, I think it was a little bit harder on this bank than the opposite bank. He won with 14 pounds something, but it's really close, Danny Ardin, um, was next to him on three. Uh, he had f about six ounces less, I think, something like that, six or seven ounces less. And um, so it's a little bit windier today, but luckily this lake isn't catching it as bad as the lake I was on yesterday. Um, it was same again, really. Just try and work my way into the match and hopefully get a few bites. So here we are on the final day of the festival and the conditions could not be any more different than yesterday. Overnight, we have had quite a steep temperature drop and it's noticeable just how cold today's conditions are. With the mildness of yesterday behind us, it's fair to say that many of the anglers are expecting a hard day's fishing. Tactics for the day were similar to day one for most, but with the wind having picked up, a few anglers reached for the rod to kick the match off. Some of our anglers started on this method whilst waiting for their pole lines to settle. Using a small three-hole cage feeder and ground bait, some anglers were able to catch some decent bonus fish early on. In the past, the waggler has been devastating on this venue, but with the wind less than favorable, this method was removed from the angler's armory. Our section winners from day one on the match pool, Cam Hughes and Adam Wakelin, had managed to avoid each other on their rotation onto the folly pool. However, the same cannot be said for our other day one section winners, Tom Scoley and Des Ship, who not only drew in the same section, but only two pegs apart from each other as well. Just like day one, the stakes were high and a close contest was anticipated by all.
with Cam Hughes winning the match on day one and having drawn the same peg on day two that Des Ship had won his section from the day previous, all eyes were on Cam to see if he could capitalize and take his first ever on the Flyer TV title. We were lucky to have had this festival sponsored by two very well-known bait suppliers within the angling world. We would like to thank Tom Thick Baits and also the Pellet Guys for their generous prizes for the section winners each day. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching the action with us here today and remind you if you have not already to subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so, and with your support, it allows us to continue to bring you this footage from off the bank. Please continue to enjoy the action on the final day, and we will be back shortly with our presentation and we will find out who will win the first ever Riddings January Challenge Festival and become the new King of Winter. Right then, folks, as is tradition in these festivals, a little uh, concoction done by my old mate Tom Scoldy, and I think it works really well. Uh, everybody at the beginning of the festival puts in 10 quid, and we do a biggest way to the festival, non-accumulative, so it gives those guys that might have had a, a bomb out something to fish for on the other days. And he's just pipped his mate here, picking up 280 quid, with a weight of £19.10 from today and winning the match. You've just seen him up here from Peg 26, 280 quid, Sean Ashby. You've got to share it with him, though, haven't you, pal? That's the, Don't worry about that. There should be an honesty tax. He'd get out. <laughs> right then, folks, so that brings us on to the main frame. You're going to have to hold the camera again here. So, as I said, folks, we're paying the top six, picking up 300 quid with a total weight of £25.00. 10 ounce and 5.6 overall, Tom Scully. 
Well done, mate. Absolutely beautiful performance. Fifth overall with four points and a total weight of 31 pound and five ounce, picking up 350 quid, Steve Harwood. Well done, mate. Fourth overall with four points with a total weight of £33.8 eight ounce, picking up 450 quid, Sean Ashby. Well done, well done pal. Thank you. So for the top three, we've got some beautiful glassware here as normal. Third overall with three points with a total weight of £29.4 four ounce, picking up 700 quid, Des Ship. Well done, mate. Second overall, picking up a thousand pounds with a perfect two points and a weight of twenty nine pound nine ounce. Cameron Hughes. Well done, mate. And finally, the 2024 first ever January festival for the Silverfish here at Reading's, kindly sponsored by the Pellet Guys and Tom Fix Baits. The champion with a perfect two points and a total weight of £36, fishing an absolute blinder and picking up 1,200 quid, Adam Wakeley. Well done, pal. Just watch the back end of that box has just fell off. So Awesome. Thanks, lads. If we can just have the top three for some pictures after, that's fantastic. But other than that, thank you. Here we are, that's it, it's all done and dusted. On the Fly TV here at the Riddens, sponsored by Tom Fix and the Pellet Guys. Been absolutely fantastic two days. Fishing's been difficult, but it's still been uh, it's still been good. They've not been easy to catch. Uh, today I've had 18 pound on the folly, uh, which has just won the section, only just only just by a pound. Basically over the two days it's been about ground bait alternating lines the water's still clear it's january you can't just sit on a line and um, and plunder it so what basically i've done i fished two to three lines just rotated them topping them up as i'm going around the lines and that's obviously uh, what's done the damage catching two or three fish off a line like i said it's tap water you can't keep just sitting on a on a particular line waiting for the fish to come to you the need the need areas to back off to so that's been the thing worms has been really good but maggots and pinkies has, has been has been boss. Um, like I said, at the Riddings, great fishery. It's quite close to where I live. Perhaps don't come here often enough, but definitely be coming back on this again. So there it is, the first ever one, the Winter Challenge 2024. Thanks. <laughs>